Welcome to the Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. And lately I've been on a lot of stages like this one talking about the economy. And I get it. Economists get a lot wrong. First we say inflation will be transitory. Then we say that there will be a soft landing. No, no, a hard landing. No, an outright recession. No, definitely a soft landing. I get it. But non-economists get some things wrong too. Here are three things people get wrong about the economy. Number one, higher interest rates spell recession. Former Fed Chair Ben Bernanke once said, expansions don't die of old age, they're actually murdered by the Fed. If you heard me say that quote before, it's because it's my favorite Fed quote of all time. There's sometimes that this is how it works, where the Fed starts raising interest rates because it senses that the economy is running hot and those interest rates chokes demand and cause the economy to slow and then dip into a downturn. But rates now, they're at a 20 year high and the economy continues to chug along just fine. The second thing that people get wrong, what goes up can only go down. Most of us here understand how gravity works. When something is going up, it's pulled back down to earth. But the economy doesn't work like that. When prices rise, they often stay high. So even though inflation has been trending down, it doesn't mean prices will go down, especially for big ticket items like medical expenses and college tuition, or even the rent. So despite the tremendous progress made in slowing down prices, their growth, they're still a whole lot higher than they were four years ago. The last thing, that people sometimes get wrong about the economy that I want to highlight is that to fix the inflation rate, you have to break the labor market. As we record this today, we are a few days in front of that February ADP National Employment Report and the BLS Jobs Report. A year of crunching employment numbers has revealed that you can fix inflation and still grow jobs and wages. Even with higher interest rates, businesses of all sizes have been adding jobs and wage growth is stronger now than when inflation was low before the pandemic. The unemployment rate is still hovering near record lows. So we'll always be there as economists seeing what's next for the economy. Just remember that even if your friendly neighborhood economist sometimes gets it wrong, careful data analysis can show us what's right. Thanks for watching the Main Street Macro. For more on that very important jobs number, please check us out at adpri.org.